other mothers or other single parents who have three, four, five, six kids. What power to you? Because I'm taking some of these kids back to the hospital. Like, and y'all all are not staying. So y'all all can sit here and talk about which ones think y'all want to stay, which ones think y'all want to go. But she always got something to say. Oh, no, she didn't. Oh, yes, she did. No, she didn't. <laughs> yes, she did. <laughs> we going to cry a little. I can going to laugh her. a lot. I like want to hear real shit. To keep it real. in the right spot. Let's talk about it. What's going on, you guys? And welcome back to another video. I'm your girl, Jamaica. Of course, if you are new here and you do not know what to do here, this is your first time. We welcome first timers. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. <clears throat> okay. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And just like that, you are no longer a first timer. From this moment on, you are family. You are a jewel. You are loved. And you are to be loved correctly by us. If you have been here and you are still here, you're still rocking, you're still rolling. Um, it's you, it's us. It's always been that. What's going on? What's up? We're tuned back in. If y'all can see, the attire is different. If you're in Minnesota, you don't need, you already know what's okay. Go. Cool. If you know your girl, your girl only can speak from experience. I can only give y'all what I know. I can only give y'all what I've experienced because then it's 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 true, it's genuine, and it's my experience. Along with that, it's my experience. It's not the same as everybody else's. It'll never be the same as everyone else's. So take from it what you what you need. But I like to share because I know if I'm experiencing it or have experienced it, someone else probably have or will, and this is just good. Like I can come back to this. So I remember Jamaica said this type of conversation. Most of you know I'm a single mom, and I'm trying to balance being a single mom, being a working woman, being an entrepreneur, being a Christian, and, and, and church, and what I always try to speak on about church is that it does require participation, it does require tithing, it does require fellowship, so it does require you to be present, so don't underestimate being a Christian and actually applying yourself to his his word and his job when I say job I mean volunteering donating um in all aspects so that's that's I said to say that that's work but your girl is tired I just wanted to talk to a lot of single parents whether you're a single mom or a single dad if you are um taking care of nieces and nephews by yourself whatever the case may be it is so hard it's even harder to be in a single world with kids and still have a Christian lifestyle. And I say have a Christian lifestyle. I mean, <clears throat> just trying to be constant in your prayer. And <clears throat> gosh, where's my water? Um, and or trying to always be positive. I know one day a couple weeks ago, I was like so agitated. I was so tired. I was so overwhelmed. Um, and I'm like, okay, this is, a, this is the perfect time to go to your scripture. This is the perfect time to go to your word. And so I went to my word. I was reading my Bible. Luckily, it was my Bible and not my tablet because I do read from all my devices, my Bible app. Um, I was just so agitated that I just threw the Bible. Because I'm like, what am I supposed to be praying for right now? What am, I, what am I supposed to look in this book and get an answer to when it, when it comes to the problems I'm facing like right now in the moment? And if we all know God... I don't take anything from God, but I know a lot of problems that I have. It's something that has to be fixed over time. It's something that has to grow in me and in my surroundings. And I have to continue to put forth the effort and be patient and be obedient and still be a mom. And this is not to say that you cannot be tired. One thing that I try to get through people, I just said it yesterday, if you follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, is that just because you have God, just because you know God, just because you, you know, have him in your heart and your spirit and you are actually a, a firm believer, it does not mean that all your problems go away. It does not mean that all of a sudden I have God now, like a magic wand, whoosh, problem be gone. This is not how it works. The purpose is intended for you to be able to go through those trials and traumas and tribulations with such an easier heart with such more grace giving grace to yourself and giving grace to others and allowing yourself patience and just being of god to yourself and to others but i was so irritated and so bothered like and so even after i do my life i turn on my bed you know i got on my knees and pray because sometimes the level of what you're feeling requires a deeper a deeper level of conversation with god and so opening up my bible was just not going to be sufficient I had to get on my knees and I had to inhale and exhale and I had to take that deep breath and I had to and really get 
in that one-on-one -on -one with God, not reading. I was like, no, I don't need to read. I just need to be able to tell God what I'm feeling and put my problems out there. And that's what I did. What I did is not easy being a single mom. It's not easy being a single mom to two kids. I didn't desire to be a single mom. I didn't know. Like, I was younger when I had my oldest son. I was 17. But I didn't know, like, I was going to turn out to be that. Even with my older son. Even, I mean, my younger son. I knew his dad just wasn't trigger honey iced tea. Flat out. So, I, a piece of me already knew that I wouldn't get far with him with having a child. I just thought he would be more present. Because even we had a conversation with an understanding that, okay, I'm... We're not going to do this, but we're still going to be equal parents, and he's still not even an equal parent. So, it's just me knowing all those things, and then me being, like, holding myself to the fire of knowing that this could have been differently had I made different decisions, but I didn't make different decisions, and if it was a fifth, we'd all be drunk, Lord. So, I can't take it back. I can't continue to if the situation, or what if this would have happened. I can't make changes. I only can deal with what's in front of me, and right now, I'm a single mother, and that's what's in front of me, and... I just pray on that. I pray that God continues to ease my heart. And so when I look at other mothers or other single parents who have three, four, five, six kids, what power to you? Because I'm taking some of these kids back to the hospital. Like, y'all all are not staying. So y'all all can sit here and talk about which ones think y'all want to stay, which ones think y'all want to go. But, <laughs> like, what? Because two drives me nuts. Two drives me nuts when inflation. Two drives me nuts when trying to figure out their schedule, my schedule. They're two different age realms. Okay, we have a toddler and a teenager, so they're not doing the same activities. So I'm trying to be, oh, to the toddler. And then be like, oh, to the 16-year-old, you know, and jobs. And I'm still trying to do my own thing. And when I say my own thing, I mean, I'm still trying to parent. I'm still trying to keep my head above the water I'm, I still have to keep the bills paid I still have to keep food in the house I still have to keep like things you just know you have to do naturally but just in a space where I don't lose my mind trying to think about doing all of that I don't have no help out here in Minnesota I have a little bit but I don't have really any family help so I'm around my kids all the time when I get off work before work we have I take them to church but they have daycare to church so that only time they go their separate ways I'm like you know like, they're just there. And so, I'd be lying to y'all if I say, oh my God, this is just the perfect thing in the world. Like, oh my God, who does what? Girl, the bullshit. I'm sorry. But bull crap. Everybody needs their own space. Everybody needs some time. I don't think that being a mom, I don't think being a single dad, I don't think being a single anything, and knowingly now you know it, means that, oh, well, you don't deserve no freedom. And you don't deserve this. Because everybody does, regardless as to their situation. Because how can you be healthy for your kids? How can you be uh, conducive to your life if you're not mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically well? So it is important for single parents to have their own space at some times. We know those are your kids. You're coming to get them back. They're yours, 100%. Show up. Be there at 9 o'clock. Sometimes people need a break. And for those who can't get a break like myself, I have to go to God. I know out here in Minnesota, we have something called um, the crisis nursery where you can take your kid for three days for whatever the reason may be. They will watch your kid for three days. You drop them off, literally. Give them your information. It is like a it's like a process. They all they ask you all these questions, da, 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 da. But you basically take them. It's like it's a nice building. You take your kids. Everybody is in there run by Christians and they're women and they're great. I've been, I've taken my son to it. And... You give them that for three days. They say, they give you a number. They say, if you want to talk to them, you can talk to him. Um, it is only from like newborn or maybe not newborn. It's a certain age. Like you can't go over six, <clears throat> the age of six or something. Um, but you pretty much shake your child. They give you a number, say, if you want to talk to him, it's voluntary. So you can go come pick him up at any time. If you feel like this is not what you want to do, you can feel free at any day. You don't have to let them stay the whole three days. They're not bound by the whole three days. You can come get them whenever you like. And when I tell you, that was the best three days. I was a little nervous. I'm like, who's going to have my child? Who's in here? Where they going? Where they sleeping? What they eat? You know, I had all these things on my mind. But I am a Christian. I got to remember to not worry. Whatever will happen, will happen, whether good or bad. I just have to know that I have God in me and with me to walk me through whatever the, that situation looks like. But when I left and I got home, it was so quiet. It was quiet. I was able to sit down, take a bath. Somebody said, mom, 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 mom. You know, I was able to make me a food and eat it and digest it and not have to share my food. Not that I'm mad sharing, but I still eat his food, my food, your food, all our food. And, you know, I had to clean up after. I was able to just let my house be clean. My house was clean for three days. I didn't have to do nothing. And I, I kid y'all not, when I tell y'all I did not call that number, I did not call that number. <laughs>
I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I was not like, oh, do do do. Can I speak to the general? I didn't do any of that. I did not call at all. I said, you know what? This is my three days. I'm gonna use it. And they give you a time at which you have to come pick your child up before you leave. And so they was like, oh, come pick your child up at um, I think it was nine. It was nine, I think, on Sunday because we went to church. So um, I went and picked him up on Sunday, went to church, and I missed him, and I enjoyed him, and he didn't have anything wrong with him. You don't have to bring clothes. You don't have to bring food. They have all of that. You drop your child off, which what your child has, and they even give you a gift card, a gas card. They gave you a gas card. <sighs> so I, I said to say, look in your city. You never know where you are, what you know they have out there don't be afraid to use those options don't be afraid like you feel like oh, i'm going to be less of a parent less of a mom less of a dad less of a caregiver if i do that no you deserve time we get tired i'm i'm about to use it again because you can use 30 days in a month i mean 30 days in a year <laughs> i'm about to use it again and i need one for my 16 year old i ain't gonna lie both of y'all so i just know it's hard and it's, it's hard when you're trying to try to juggle all of those things and you sometimes, even though you have God and you know God and you, you believe in what God says, I, I do 100%. It still does not take away the fact that right now in the present, I'm still stressed about it. And so that's what I take to God. Those are the things that I, I lay at the cross at his feet. And I say, this is how I'm feeling. Please heal it. Heal the emotion. Heal the stress. Heal the anxiety. Heal the, the mother's guilt that I've been carrying my whole life with my kids since I've had them so their whole life <laughs> um, heal that and take that from me and um, I'm having a hard time in inflation and providing everything and, and I look at all my bills in one month it's like three or four thousand dollars and I'm like Lord and majority of that is rent and utilities and car notes and things like that but I understand for all the moms all the single parents all the caregivers out there who you're by yourself and you're trying to do it by yourself know that I understand God understands and that's who you got to take it to and sometimes the Bible when you open it it's going to make you mad because you don't know what scripture you should be reading and what book you should be reading and at that moment you get on your knees and you say God I don't even know but I trust you you hear me you see me but you know what's on me please walk me through it please get me through it please pray me through it please put your hand over it and cover me and cover my family and cover my children and cover my house and cover the things that I have and I know you will get me through it and so just as a single mom I just come out here and say that because I, I know how hard it is and it's hard for me every day <laughs> and a lot and I go to God every day and I say listen I don't know I'm not one of the moms that's on assistance you know I'm not one of the moms I like working I keep a job but when you're in the middle class and you keep a job they don't care that your bills take up all your money as long as it show you make this then that's what it is and so it's really hard for me to try to balance everything but God makes a way God has been making a way God is in my life he's in my house he's in my children he's in my heart he's in my family he's in the hearts of others who help me and so that is what I'm trusting I'm putting my trust in him so I'm just telling everybody out there to put your trust in God all my single parents put your trust in God all my single mothers put your trust in God put your kids in God Every day I give my kids to God because I don't know what's going to happen. I know I can't do it. I can't operate in my own strength. So God has to. And I'm okay with that. So that's why I wanted to go in here and say to you guys, I didn't want to keep you, but we're doing this upload every day. I don't have a consistent time at which I will upload every day just because I got a lot going on. But we just know it's going to be a video every day for the exception of Sundays. It won't be a video on Sunday, but it'll be a video every day for you guys, Monday through Saturday. Just make sure you subscribe, make sure your notification bell is on, and tune in. You may need it. You may know someone who needs it, so feel free to share it. Make sure you follow on Instagram and Snapchat. Thank you for all the love and support and encouragement, and I pray that something I say rubs off on you and heals you and encourages you and motivates you and gives you the desires and leads you to God, ultimately. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.